Like if, if you're upset at Jerry Seinfeld's act, I'm sorry. The problem is you and how you were raised. Spoiler alert, wrong. You were raised wrong. That's the key to everything, is the kids were raised wrong. And it doesn't make me the bad guy because I noticed this. I don't know why you want to join this. I want to navigate it so I can still be effective in communicating. Yeah, me too. But, but, but I, no, you've given I, up. I, you're, you're on the rocking chair. <laughs> no, I have not given up. Get but, off my lawn. But, but you have a, but you have a uh, no, that's that's stupid. That's, that's real. stupid. It's, it's so fucking. That's insulting. That, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's condescending. He's being a dickhead, this Neil. Neil deGrasse Tyson has lost any credibility he has. In the scientific community, in the common sense community, he's lost it. He wants to be so much in the system. He wants to be in, in vogue that he's losing himself. He's unhinged. Every interview you see of Neil deGrasse Tyson, or like I call him, Neil the Crazy Tyson, he spews garbage. For a scientist, he's very, he's very, he's very stupid. I think he's being stupid on purpose because he's trying to be in the in crowd. Bill Maher as well, it's pretty much the same. Now he sees where the wind is blowing and he's trying to go with the whole common sense conservative kind of mindset. But if you watch the talk shows, you know Bill Maher had the Trump derangement syndrome when Trump got in power. But in this conversation so far, I think Bill Maher's on the right side and you know the crazy tyson is as usual unhinged crazy lunatics talk how come you're a scientist and you're saying people should discard xx and xy chromosome that doesn't matter anymore just discard that and you can be whatever you want to be you can be if you, if you got well, what's between your leg it's not the determin determining factor of what sex you are it's all about woke Everything is woke, wokey, woke garbage. It's it's demeaning and insulting, no, quite frankly, it's, because it's, it's it's reducing what I. So he, he, indirectly, he's calling me more old fashioned, and old man mentality. By saying, you know, some things shouldn't be changed, because that's going to spell the destruction of of society as we know it. I do, which is really subtle. Yeah, like go a ahead. Lot I know. Smart people like it's it. It's a just that That's what they would say on Fox News. What, what? Oh, you know, he's just saying he's just old and get off my lawn. It's a prejudice. It's not accurate. It's not cool. You're not allowing my free speech. Yeah, I, I'm allowing <laughs> it. I'm just calling you out on you're your bullshit. You're you're calling you out on your bullshit. <laughs> just but, because it doesn't agree with you doesn't make it bullshit. It could be exactly. just a different point of view. It's, I'm just saying. Get off my lawn is not a point of but view. But it's a fun it's, reference. It's, Come on, you know. It's a fun yeah, but but it's 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 pretending. It's not accurate and it's not honest because it's pretending that all I am is a primal scream against the future coming. I'm not a primal scream. I love the future when it's good. Do you I want to influence iPhone. that generation? If you want to bring then back, you navigate if you want to bring back communism, which like a third of them do, no, I'm not going to go. Oh, that's new, isn't it? Great. You know, I could say, hey, let's uh, shit in the kitchen and eat in the bathroom. It's new. <laughs> <laughs> but is it smarter? No, exactly. that's what I always tell my friends when they're like, I can't talk to my kids because whatever I think, they go, that's old thinking. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, like the Bible says, get back to the old ways. The new ways ain't working, man. Yeah, but is it is it better thinking? Mm -hmm. Is it better thinking? Uh, I know you think that, like, you had a thing with Martina Navratilova. What, what do you mean I have a thing? I have nothing. What do you mean? A beef. You know, she has beef with you. Why does she have a beef with me? Because you think, like, guys with dicks should get in the women's swimming pool basically oh no no i oh no i well whatever got clipped and reposted i don't know but what i said that was, was what you said that the um in this emergent space where you have people expressing themselves on a gender spectrum and you want to now compete in sports we that's still a frontier to be solved and I don't have the answer, but I can suggest one, whether or not it'll work. Maybe we don't compete by gender anymore. We compete on hormone ratios, okay? Is it testosterone? There was a woman who had uncommonly high testosterone levels, and they wanted to disqualify her because of how manly she was when she was born a woman and competing as a woman. So if we're, that's how we're going to do it, you know, what this, are you talking I, again, about? What you really want? Wait, Bill, no, I've thought this through more than you might think I have. No, you haven't. So what you really want 
is an interesting contest between people who are similarly uh, talented. This is, this, the, the, least, mean, the least interesting Super Bowl this, you could ever... So you want men going around playing rugby with women? Do you see how much harm they inflict on those women? What are you talking about? You're going to take opportunities away from biological women because you're going to have biological men going into those um, areas and dominating. This affects women more. We are witnessing the breakdown of society in real time. The destruction of Western civilization is happening in slow-mo and we are all witnessing it. Ever watch is a blowout by by halftime. See, what we agree on is that there are anomalies in human nature, whereas, yes. you know, the vast majority of people are... Anomaly. He said an anomaly. Less than 1% of the population. Less than a fraction of a 1% of the population. He cannot drastically change the entire society for a fraction of a 1%. I'm sorry, are still male or female. And certainly every cell in our body is dictating one of those other the sexes. I mean, obviously, well, the hormones are, yeah. obviously that's, well, also I make uh, sperm and other people make eggs. That's what hormones do. Yeah. You, you can't deny that. Okay. okay. So this, but we, as liberals, we, I think, agree that, you know, there are anomalies in nature uh, and they should be respected and protected. But this attempt to reorganize all of society around what a very tiny percentage, who again, we can protect and respect without pretending that every baby is a jump it. ball, like penis, what the fuck, I don't know, that doesn't mean anything. We have no idea what this child is. I mean, that, that seems to be where you wanna go. I mean, like, how many people fit this description that we should reorganize sports around? Sports is, we have men's sports and women's sports. And if the best team in the WNBA played the worst team in the NBA, the score would be a million to zero. Can we organize society around that basic point with, that, with this, of course, proviso that we protect and, and respect people who do not fit into it? Let's segregate society between that's dark skin people and white skin people. What? It's that's, what is, that's, what? <laughs> so everything he just said, all you heard was segregate. That's a dog whistle. What are you? This guy is a clown, man. This guy is a total clown. This Neil the Crazy Tyson. He is a total clown. Neil the Clown Tyson. That nature made it that way, and that's how it is. So well, nature so did you, make it that way. You are, <laughs> and it's not segregating. Well, there it's was a segregating time segregating anything. That it's, attitude it's, 150 years ago oh, was it was. He's, he's he's trying to make it racial. Oh, I'm a black person. I can offer, I can always fall back into the cloak of racism, into the cloak of segregation, into the cloak of discrimination. That's why I use that term, very incendiary term in this conversation. Segregation. He used that on purpose. I did, two years ago, you act like this was a, yes, right, Lincoln. This was a big issue in the Lincoln Douglas debates. Trans people. That's no, right. No, I'm talking about I remember black, that. From I'm talking about what? 18, uh, he's talking about, didn't I just say it? <laughs> I'm not a scientist, but it seems like I have more common sense than Neil the Crazy Tyson. 61, yes, I remember those debates. It was 1860. Lincoln think, yeah. was all about getting trans. Oh, for fuck's sake. You and I really hate this nonsense where you're trying to compare black people to this bunch of weirdos. Come on, man. Ridiculous. No, no, so here it is. Just all I'm saying is that... How about this? I'm looking at schools in Manhattan, and there's a school there, and there's an old from like built in the 20s and 30s, and there's a doorway that says boys, and a separate doorway on the other side of the school that says girls. And oh thinking, God! Why are we doing this? Because people are mostly boys and girls. But why split them entering a school building? Because they pee differently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! That I have it's to, just, I have to explain I just, it. Bill Maher sounds like the scientist. And that idiot over there with a drink in his hand sounds like a wino in the street corner. Drunk out of his mind talking shit. No, because you know what I thought oh, when I saw God. that? It's colored fountain over here, white... Taking it back to race. <laughs> this guy is a clown. This guy is a clown. Where did he get his degree? He is an absolute idiot on purpose because it's trying to be in the in crowd 
fountain over here. That's well, what I thought well, when I saw that. Well, you're, that's not the same thing. No, well, that, it's not exactly that, the same thing. And that that's is, what I thought. And, it's and not exactly. I agree. Understand. Okay, I agree. Far from but it. this is what I always say about these kind of issues. Like, yeah. there's two ways that you can be benighted about something. One, you can be too far from it. Yeah. Like. I would be too far from cer certain issues, racial issues, of course. How could I ever know? Right. Well, y'all get the picture, man. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a, is, a, is a crazy person that's trying to be among the in crowd. So he's going to lose himself. People want to be in the in crowd so much. See everyone running into a burning building and you run in with them. Why not be the one person that stands outside and tells everyone, yo, that building is burning. Do not go in there. If you want to go in there, fine, but I'm going the other direction. Why don't you be that person? It seems like everybody's trying to go in to the burning building, which is woke. Woke is a burning building. It's an ideology that's crumbling. All this movie is trying to be woke now. They're all crumbling. Box office sales tanked. The Marvels trash because they were trying to be woke. Nobody wants woke. Ah. <sighs>